welcome back. LSU football released their spring practice schedule today. Practices begin March 7th and will run on most Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays until the spring game on April 16th. The Tigers will have six practices before spring break and Easter and nine between the break and then the spring game. After the spring game, the Tigers will spend the summer prepping for the 2016 season, opening in Green Bay against the Wisconsin Badgers. We still have a few more months before the Tigers are in Death Valley, but in the meantime, two Tigers are putting on a special show in the box. Reporter Rachel Rich Linsky sat down with Bo and Bryce Jordan to talk about their special relationship on and off the field. After an early exit from the College World Series, LSU is in need of some offense from a few young players. I think they're both going to be in the starting lineup on opening night, and we're going to count heavily on both of them. Hopefully they'll swing a big bat for us, drive in a lot of runs, and help us win a lot of games. And since the Tigers only have one returning starter, Coach Maneri is forced to get his underclassmen ready. So, is the pressure on for the Jordan brothers? I feel like there's no pressure at all. Basically, you got to come out here and play your game. The first thing I do every day is I go to the outfield, take some live cuts, and then I come in and hit. I'm working on staying down the ball. Maneri said Bo is projected to be the starting left fielder, while Bryce will be the designated hitter. But is he going to forget who is who on opening day? I get him confused every day. Hey, I mean, I've only been with him for a year and a half, so how can you expect me to be able to tell the difference? He does have one trick. We gave 24 to Bo, so I remember two foe is Bo. People are like, yeah, I wish, I wish I had a twin. Like, <laughs> for real. Like, Some, you, sometimes. You have no idea. The Jordan brothers said their relationship is just like any other typical siblings, both full of love and argument. But they did mention that what makes their bond oh so special is their twin telepathy. And we're just sitting down and we like look at each other and we just start laughing because like we knew what we were laughing at. It's I can't yeah. explain it. It's just weird. So, what is it like to have a pair of twins on the team? It's pretty cool to see. You can tell they're really tight. They pull for each other every day. We coach each other on some things. We've just done it our whole lives. And, and I've, I've seen his swing more than anybody. So, if something's wrong with his swing, I'll be like, hey, stay through the ball, something like that. But at the end of the day, on or off the field, they'll okay. always have each other. For Tiger TV, I'm Rachel Orchlinski. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. That's all for now, but you can hear more about what's happening in the world of sports at 530 with Brian Pellern and myself on Fast Break. Back to you guys at the desk.